I've been using water systems like this one in my camping setups for over two years now, and today I'm going to show you how to build one. To get started, I have a half inch PVC pipe, a T connector, an elbow connector, a 3 8 inch silicone tubing elbow, as well as a half inch adapter and a half inch cap. I also have a small push button switch and the silicone tubing itself. For the PVC, I'm cutting it down to six inches as I think this will be a good fossil length. I'm also cutting the T connector in half all the way around This will allow me to fit the 3 8 inch elbow within it. After a little bit more trimming, it fits nicely. Now a quick test fit of all the parts. And a quick wire of the push button switch. I can fit all the parts together, attach the silicone tubing, feed the wires through the PVC pipe. Using a clamp, I will clamp the two sides of the T-connector together, and using some epoxy, I will fill in the gaps and re-glue the T-connector. While that's drying, I'm going to work on the 12-volt submersible pump. Using a length of PVC pipe, I will be able to push the pump all the way to the bottom of the tank. After cutting the wire to length, I will secure that to smaller wires that I'll later connect to the button and the 12 volt rechargeable battery. This silicone tubing was 10 feet to begin with, but I'm cutting it down to 8 feet. Using the original cap, from the water tank, I will drill out a hole so that I can connect a waterproof coupling that I will be able to run the hose and the wiring through. After wiring the submersible pump to the 12 volt battery and the push button switch, we give it a quick test. And we can see that everything functions as designed. Using this one piece of heat shrink tubing, I'm going to connect a PVC clamp as well as a half inch hose protector. This hose protector will work to contain the hose and all the wiring. It also looks nice as a finished product. With all the parts secure, I'm going to add a couple more pieces of heat shrink tubing to secure the push button switch, as well as the PVC adapters. With some final wiring, I can wrap the hose and the wiring all together in the wire protector, and also feed that through the coupler. This creates a nice finished look. Cutting the remaining wire to length, I will connect a barrel connector, and this will connect straight into my 12 volt rechargeable battery. I'll give the faucet a quick spray paint. I chose a nice natural color that I think will look good with my camping setup.
With all the parts painted and the tape removed, I've connected a double ball joint to the PVC clamp on one side and a one inch clamp on the other. Finally, I'm going to drill some holes in the end of the faucet to allow the water to come out in a nice spray pattern that'll work well for washing dishes and any other needs I may have. Now that that's all done, a final assembly, and we can see that all the parts look nice and work well together. And finally, a test of the finished product. Has good pressure. as well as decent flow. My one complaint about this water system was that the small button was kind of hard to press. So I decided to sand down a wooden drawer pull and glue it to the end of the button in order to create more surface area so I can more easily press the button. After a quick spray paint and super glue, the button is secured and the product looks nice. And that's how I created this water system that I use on every camping trip I go on. It's functional, portable, and compact, and it's really improved my camping experience.